Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again. Okay, so it happened. Cartier had their price increase today on the 9th of May on Monday. I woke up today and before going to work, because I've just come back from work today, before going to work, I was like, let me just go and check. And I did update on my Instagram if you follow me. Make sure you go follow me on there. I did tell you guys it happened. I also told um, Facebook group members, although to be fair, I did tell Facebook group members first. So if you like to know things first, go join the Facebook group because that um, is where I, like if I find tea quickly um, and I'm fast, I will update it in the group first, then I'll go onto Instagram and then I'll come and film a video um, at the end of the workday. But um, I did like post it in there and I was like, guys, you know, it's gone up four euros. Now, if you're in America, um, I don't know what's going on in America. I did check the US site. Um, and I looked at watches. There's a watch that I like from Cartier that's like a stainless steel and gold mix. It's like $8,000 and, and a bit. Um, it hasn't gone up in price. Um, there's a rumor that the US increase will happen on the 16th of May and the, Europe, uh, the, the Euros and Swiss franc in increase was today on the 9th of May. So let's wait until the 16th. There are a lot of you who have all these really beautiful, wonderful economic theories about why the US increase won't happen. I'm not gonna go too deep into that. That's a, that's probably a bit too, um, it, that's, that's too intelligent for me. I don't feel smart enough to discuss those things. So I have no idea why. Um, I just want to share the information about, about the actual products itself. Um, and after today, I've had such a long day today. Like my brain is melting, just trying to think about like what, what Big Carti is up to, you know? So this is just for Euros. Now, even better, I have written a companion blog to this video. It's linked below. Go read it on my actual blog. Um, and it has the prices of items which I like. So I'm not gonna cover things I don't like. I'm not crazy about the Clash collection, so I don't know what's going on with that particular collection because I'm not wild about it. But I do love the Love collection. I love, the, see what I did there? I do love the Love collection. I love the Tristan Poo collection. I love a lot of their single earrings and things like that. And of course the Iced Out Holy Grail bracelet. So I have covered those on my blog. You can go and read it, um, click below and read it um, on my website. I would love to hear from you and you can tell me what you think about the um, blog article if you prefer reading those um, they're very convenient you can just save a bookmark on your browser if you're busy you're traveling maybe you're on the train you're going to work you can just read my blog in the meantime and you can also choose by like the luxury brand categories okay so let's go through it I'm actually reading from my blog you see we're keeping it on brand on this channel I did all of this research myself because last week I went on the EU site and I collected a bunch of prices at the previous um, price and today the increase has happened so I have the new prices. Okay, so um, I'm sorry, it's been, just such, it's been such a long day working today. I don't have time to take pictures of every single thing that I'm about to reference. I'm super sorry about that. Um, so instead, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna read it out to you. I'm sure you know what these things look like anyway because they're all the really popular bits. Um, and I'm sorry, I think you can hear my housekeeper outside there. Just sorry about the noise. Um, but um, yeah, so here it goes. So basically, first of all, you have the Juston Clou single earring. It used to be 880 euros. It's now 930. That's the same price for the Love single earring as well. The Love earrings have also gone up, 1920. Um, and now it's 2020 euros. The Love single earring with diamonds used to be 1,890, it's now 1,990. The Love single earrings with diamonds is a vibe, is a mood. I love their single earrings, I think they're so gorgeous, so glamorous, um, I love them. I think they're really, really great. I think they're great for like customizable looks. Um, but yeah, it's gone up by 100 euros, that's not um, anything uh, ridiculous. Um, the Juston Clou small bracelet in yellow gold used to be 3,350, it's now 3,500. And then there are a few of the, some other Juston Clous that I've mentioned. I wanted to mention this one because I thought this was a really interesting increase. The Juston Clou um, yellow gold bracelet with the diamonds um, 
and that, that's the Pave bracelet. It used to be 47,700 euros. It's now 50,050 euros. So it's broken the 50,000 euro barrier. I think that's really, really interesting. At this price point, um, the people who are buying these Pave bracelets from Cartier um, are probably not you know, worried about like a few thousand euros, give or take. But I do think it's interesting that it's broken the 50,000 euro barrier. I think that's very, very interesting. The Juste en Clou, um, white gold um, that is also pave used to be 84,500 it's now 89,000 euros I think this is a really interesting increase specifically because pretty much this is like heading into high jewelry category high jewelry in Europe tends to start at about a hundred thousand euros maybe you might find some pieces for like 90 95 thousand euros but it's really a hundred thousand euros it's so interesting to me that um they would increase it in, in my opinion quite high for a piece that is not a um high jewelry piece so we're starting to see the high jewelryification of some of the fine jewelry bits from Cartier, which is really interesting. The love bracelet in yellow gold used to be 6,800, it's now 7,150. I know you're like, okay, this increase isn't bad, but a lot of people do save their way to buy love bracelets and just on clues. I do think like breaking that 7,000 euro barrier is very interesting. I'm very interested to see how people um, react to um, this particular increase. The um, small love bracelet in yellow gold used to be 4,400. It's now 4,650. I still think this is a good price um, for a very classic um, fine jewelry piece. Um, and then the Pave um, love bracelet, the small one in rose gold, this is also the same price for yellow gold. It used to be 27,000, it's now 28,400. Um, again, not a massive increase, but still an increase, so we're reporting on it. And the Pave love bracelet in yellow gold used to be 43,800. It's now 46,000. This was a really interesting um, increase for me because I was like, oh, I, I do think that's a little bit steep, but it's still interesting. So these are all of the prices that have gone up. Make sure you go read my blog. It's linked below. Um, it's really important. And go join my Facebook group because if you want to be like ahead of the curve and know things quick and fast, you need to join the group. And also go follow my luxury Instagram. So it's super important. Some of you, I think, are like searching me up on Instagram, but you're finding my personal page and then you're following my personal page. You can still follow my personal page, but it's like random bits, <laughs> okay? It's like me being so random there. So go follow Higher Glamours on Lux. That's where I'm gonna be posting all my luxury things. So let's chat about this increase. Like how do we feel? What do we feel? As you know, Cartier is my favorite brand, honey. I love everything that they do. A lot of you were very focused on the Van Cleef and Arpel price increase. Um, you know, Van Cleef and Arpel um, to me is kind of like, um, I don't know. But Van Cleef and Arpel to me is kind of like white chocolate, you know, because um, I'm a chocolate girl. I love chocolate. White chocolate is cool and everything. Um, I can respect it for what it is, but it's not for me. So I did do that VCA um, segment in one of my price increase videos, but I'm not a VCA girl. So I'm not going to be able to come with like the same passion and excitement as I would for Cartier. But obviously I'm a Cartier girl through and through. Cut me open, I'll bleed Cartier red. Um, what do I think of this increase? Um, I think the increase is fine. I mean, the, the thing with the fine jewelry houses is that the way they increase prices is not excessive. They don't um, make fun of their clients, okay? This isn't a big LV honey, big H, big C situation. They're not making fun of their um, clients. And don't, don't try and defend big H. Big H makes fun of her clients every single day with her botched, okay, store openings, okay? <laughs> and ridiculous um like pre-spend requirements so let's not go there so like the big three luxury brands are always like cracking jokes and just thinking that was you know ridiculous basically but i feel like the fine jewelry houses are a little bit more measured they're much more respectful i think in the way they do increases these increases are not really going to affect um hardcore ca hardcore cartier shoppers because if you're someone who shops at cartier a lot um and the pave um 
bracelets have gone up by an extra 3,000 euros, you know, 2,000 euros. I mean, that's not really going to affect you. I do think on the more, I do think what they're doing is they're increasing the pave and bits more so that they can kind of subsidize um, the more affordable fine jewelry bits. So like th those really nice, um, small love bracelets or the small Tristan clues, those ones, you know, um, those ones have a great price point. I mean, it's a fantastic price point. You can't beat the price point, particularly of the small Tristan clue, very affordable. It's a great price point. It's not a difficult item to acquire for a lot of Cartier clients. So the Pave options will definitely be um, kind of subsidizing those ones. And I think that's a great way of doing it. That way everyone's happy. I also feel like in a really weird way, the Pave options being so expensive makes like the Cartier clients who are spending more money on Cartier um, jewelry feel like much more special. People feel special when they're paying more because they're just going to be so hard to attain. I mean, one of the Juston Clou Pave bracelets being 89,000 euros. I mean, 10, 10, 10,000 more euros, you might as well just go and get a high jewelry piece, which is going to be completely handmade and it's going to be hand assembled and everything. And it's a really special piece, you know? Um, so I think that they're trying to kind of signal as well to the clients who spend more money on the more expensive jewelry bits, like, hey, go and, um, you know, go and buy like a high jewelry piece because this Juston Clou is now 89,000 euros. That's a lot of money, <laughs> um, okay? Um, and it definitely, definitely at that price range, you're not someone who's like, oh, I'm, I'm worried about like resale value or anything like that. You know, it, frankly, even the, the like the 46,000 euro um, love bracelet, you know, at that point, because those ones, they're not going to hold their value. That's not the point of these pieces. These are statement, they're statement jewelry pieces. They're meant to stand out. You're meant to like feel different, look different when you're wearing them. They're not meant to be on rodeo file, although I'm sure that there are some of them on rodeo file, um, but they're not uh, meant to be that. They're, they're statement pieces that you're meant to keep in your collection and rotate. Um, I actually think a lot of those Pave Holy Grail pieces look really, really good. And in my opinion, I think they're just, I don't know, I really like them and I think they're really great. Um, the increases are significant, I think, on the Pave side, but they're not that significant if you're in the market for um, those bracelets. Um, right now, I want to focus on more bigger purchases. I want to focus on like things like this, like fine jewelry bracelets, fine jewelry rings, like the Pave ones to me are the more exciting ones, time pieces, luxury cars. I want to go for bigger ticket items. I don't mind waiting um, to get like a bigger ticket item because I feel like they're just a little bit more exciting to me right now. But I also do love those single earrings. I think they're super cute. There is a Cartier brace, uh, there's a Cartier boutique in um, Johannesburg. So I definitely will go there as well when I go traveling there and I will go check out um, that boutique. I'm really excited because I've never been there before. So it would be very exciting to see what that one looks like. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think of this price increase. I really hope that you're enjoying the video so far. Um, we have so many exciting videos this week. You don't want to miss out on any of my videos. Um, I also have a watch video coming. I really hope that you guys support that. I feel like there's so many great luxury things that you can go out there and buy. I think. I know that the YouTube algorithm and a lot of you like talking about handbags and stuff, but I actually think that Cartier, I mean, look, even VCA, even though VCA, VCA is like a white chocolate type of thing, I still feel like, you know, I still respect VCA. Like I said, you know, it's like, you know, you like it, you can respect it, but it's not your cup of tea. But even VCA, they put some beautiful like high jewelry watches. There's so many, there's so much excitement in fine jewelry watches, luxury cars. There are like lots of other places you can go and spend your money. Of course, luxury travel. I feel like, like if you're watching this channel um presumably like me <laughs> you think i'm cool you think i'm okay please listen to me when i say go and shop like a variety of things don't just like shop handbags or just shop leather goods like there's so much great stuff out there um so yeah i just wanted to you know say that so for example um yesterday was mother's day i spent the day with my mom it was really cool we had a great time and we just we just was we spent time together we actually did a lot of like 
um, things which I had wanted to do and I was asking my mom questions about projects that I want to do like luxury property projects I was like kind of telling her my ideas my mom is a very tough critic um, if she thinks an idea isn't good honey she will let me know and be like boo boo that is not gonna work but she was like listening to my ideas I have this idea that I'm working on I'm super excited about it and she was listening to it and she was like okay cool you know she was kind of giving me advice and things like that I think we need to think big with luxury luxury isn't just like a bag or anything or SLGs luxury is so many things so I want to feature more like luxury property fine jewelry watches cars on this page I really hope that you will support those videos because that's really where my heart is right now I'm more excited by those things to be honest but of course I will post about bags and SLGs because I know that's the stuff that the algorithm likes but I hope that you guys will be supporting those other videos as well so I'd love to know what you think of this car here price increase for the love of God join my Facebook page you will love it there it is so much fun and um, yeah follow me on my luxury Instagram and go read my blog as well make sure you tune in this week because um, Big C honey Big C just leaked a bunch of 22a color codes last night um, bags SLGs prices honey in USD <laughs> and euros in Big C because you know honey Big C but she just leaks her stuff on Sunday night okay um I had ready you know finish with mom I dropped my mom home and I went home I was like getting ready to do the premiere with you guys and then I'm on Instagram I'm seeing things leaking I'm like Big C honey I'm tired of you and your Chanel 31 Rue Cambon wig okay so I have another Chanel 22A video coming tomorrow make sure you stick around for that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in my next video